I wonder if I can edit that. All right, ramblings of Rob. Just want to take a second to talk about this article I saw today in CNN talking about some Russian trucks having problems. One thing I've learned serving 12 years in the Marine Corps is that you always, always, always have to take care of your gear and especially your vehicles. I've spent time in artillery units and I've spent time in logistical units and our whole mission uh, was dependent on if we can get supplies, food, ammo to the front lines. And according to this article, I guess uh, the Russian army is having issues with a lot of their vehicles. And they're starting to, in fact, use civilian vehicles. And if you know anything about Russia, or I'm sorry, about military and, you know, vehicles compared to civilian vehicles, they're a lot different. Can't handle the weight, can't handle the terrain, not built for uh, what you're trying to use it for. So I just saw this article, thought it was very interesting. Uh, apparently, it, it's, it appears as if they're having lots of issues with their vehicles. Uh, I am looking for alternative sources to kind of go back and forth and just kind of get a balanced uh, view of things. But seeing this article and then also seeing the article about if uh, there's another article, can't figure out how to get it up on a screen just yet about uh, if Finland and, and Sweden join NATO, Russia is threatening to use, you know, I don't want to specifically say it, but big bombs that cause a lot of damage. Now, what I think about when I see this article and then I saw that other article is uh, if they can't maintain their vehicles and the tires and they're getting flat tires and a lot of their vehicles are just becoming damaged in their campaign. If they can't perform the maintenance on their vehicles, what makes you think they're performing the required maintenance uh, on their computer systems for those other big giant bombs? I don't know, just a thought. What are your thoughts? Let me know.